teacher talk and sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And I'm sure many of you have heard the phrase, if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Well, the NFL player that probably best fits is cornerback Jason Verrett. Um, sometimes you'll hear people say, oh, I don't feel bad for this athlete. Um, you know, maybe if they suffer an injury, lose a big game because they're making so much money. But especially for someone like Verrett, we'll get into his injuries in a moment. But for the, it's got to be completely demoralizing for him for a sport he's put co- countless hours into to become a professional and the amount of strenuous, vigorous uh, rehab he has to go through to get back on the field from all these injuries just again completely demoralizing it has to be to have it um, to be constantly injured once again after coming back on the field well bad news David Lombardi uh, his ex page works for the athletic Jason Verrett jumped up for a ball landed on his shoulder in an awkward position will have to go undergo season ending rotator cuff surgery the plan was for him to play extensively on Sunday, but he suffered his sixth sixth season-ending injury. See some of the top comments. No way, dude has the craziest look. Would have been great to get him out there more. No way this is real. No way this isn't a year-old tweet showing up in my timeline randomly. No way. Unfortunately, tweets like this have shown up often when it comes to Jason Verrett. Um, Michael David Smith of Pro Football Talk extensively goes over his injury history. So, Verrett was a 2014 first-round pick at Chargers, who had multiple injuries rookie year, caused him to miss 10 games while playing in six. 2015, Verrett was healthy for 14 games, went to the Pro Bowl. 2016, Verrett suffered a torn ACL and played just four games. 2017, Verrett suffered another knee injury in week one and missed the rest of the season. 2018, Verrett missed the entire season with a torn Achilles. 2019, Verrett played in just one game before suffering an ankle injury. 2020, Verrett managed to stay healthy for 13 games, played well. 2021, tore his ACL in week one. 2022, missed the seat tire season with knee and Achilles injuries. 2023, played in just one game. We played on Christmas, about five defensive snaps. Add it all up, and Verrett has played 41 of a possible 163 games in his 10-year NFL career. So basically, one out of four games he's been able to appear in. And if you take a look at his game log, 2015-2020 total 27 games. That means he appeared in just 14 games over the other eight seasons. Just awful, awful news regarding Jason Verrett, uh, you know, a guy who's constantly trying to get back on the field just to suffer another injury after another injury, and not minor ones, major ones that cause him to miss entire seasons. Verrett will be 33 years old on June 18th. You have to wonder how many more comebacks he has in him, but uh, you have to give him all the credit in the world for the persistence he is showing to, uh, you know, continuously fight to be a professional football player despite all of the setbacks he has uh, went through in his career. So let's hope Jason Verrett gets back on an NFL field soon. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.